Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and we're here with the Territory, and it's time to turbo it, and it's time to tell you what parts I'm going to use. I decided I'm a spit it to a laid back flow like a nigga you can picture in the me. Yes, so it's that time again, time to turbocharge another NA Barra. And yeah, we've done a couple of things already to get ready for it. We've got the oil feed line holder on there and a few other things. But it's time to show you guys what parts we're actually going to use for the conversion. And here we are. This is pretty much all the stuff except for the exhaust system that I should have to use for the conversion. Now we're going about this a little bit differently than we did with the Falcon for a couple of reasons and we'll go through that. But we'll go through a few of these parts and then I'll let you know from there. Okay, so we'll start off with the turbo. It's a GDX 3582 replica, so it's got the exhaust and the intake fins of a GDX, but it's still got journal bearings and stuff. It's an eBay special, you know, probably 500 bucks worth, something like that. We're running a B-series turbo manifold and dump pipe, as you can see over the back. And we're running the Turbo Smart IG's W75 uh, with a seven pound spring in it. And yeah, that should control the boost. We might put a boost controller on it, but this we're not chasing huge power. We just want it to work. It should land between 300 and 350 horsepower at the wheels with this turbo and the boost we're running. And also, as you can see, we're running the turbo, the Mumba oil drain kit. There's the other pieces in there. We pulled them off the Falcon when we did it. And for the oil feed, same thing, running uh, the Mumba oil feed line kit to the old 3, uh, 3.8 BSP T piece. Now you can do this with MPT or BSP. I'm pretty sure the the actual thread is um, MPT, but bit of bit of thread tape and um, with BSP and it's fine too. Same with that. That's just an A and four to 3.8 B BSP for the oil feed. And then the oil temp sensor will go in the end of them in the end of there. So that's pretty much the oil feed and the turbo and what we're using there. We are going to chuck an oil catch can on there just cause. Now I am not running water cooling. You know that's debatable between some of us, but plenty of us uh, in the NAT community have run no water lines on the lower boost setups and for years and with a lot of success. So that's pretty much the turbo side setup. Now moving on to the intake. We're actually running the Ants turbo side intake kit, which means we're going to need to run the battery relocation kit as well, which we're going to do that, which will give us a good sound for the turbo and obviously help a little bit with you know, power and whatnot. And what's going to be different about this conversion is we're going top mount intercooler. So I managed to find uh, top mount kit, but it didn't have the piping for, that goes up to the throttle body. I mean around to the intake, but that's where we're going to use the ants kit instead. But we did get the intercooler, the, co uh, the cover with that on it. And uh, this short pipe going straight down to the turbo, which means that turbo will need to be clocked. And this cool little pipe that comes around to the throttle body from the intercooler. And with the intercooler, it's got it's blow off valve spot, so we're gonna run a blow off valve off that too. Just another cheap one off eBay. Vent to the atmosphere. And obviously we're also gonna run the heat shields for the turbo. And also to make sure all this stuff works, e.g. for example, tuning and fueling, we'll be running the FG turbo map sensor, as well as the turbo fuel pressure regulator that bumps up the pressure regulator, runs stock injectors, gapped plugs, FG turbo map sensor, which will plug straight in, and we'll be able to tune that up with the PCM tech. But basically, that's gonna make the whole conversion quite easy because we don't have to take the front bumper off. And I've also got a trans cooler in the front, so the more air that that's gonna get, the better. And it should make the whole conversion quite easy. And there is one last thing we have gotta do, is we've got to check out the exhaust. So we'll take you down to the container, the old storage, and um, I'll tell you what we're going to try and do there. 
that's probably the only spot we actually haven't got 100% confirmation on whether it'll work or not. But we'll go down there and we'll check that out. All right, so we're down here at the storage, checking out the exhaust. The other thing too, I forgot to mention is uh, these here. This is a Mamba kit for the exhaust manifold. These have Nord lock washers on them. And the, the nuts are a lot smaller, so it's a lot easier to fit them. Another thing to do with the exhaust we gotta, we're going to use. Go on to the actual exhaust system we're using. It's the old Falcon one. So we've got the three and a half inch dump, the twin two and a half, high flow cats, two muffler, and then single three inch. Now, I don't know. Oh, that's a familiar bumper. But uh, I don't know how much of this we're actually going to be able to use. I'm pretty sure the dump pipes are at least the same. So we're just going to wing it and see what happens. I'm prepared to... You know, if it only makes it to the cats, cut it and then get the exhaust place to fix it up. So if there is any of you Territory guys who have done this before, who um, have used Falcon parts for your turbo conversion, let me know how you went and what the shaping's like and what maybe... I'm not sure how much this I'm going to be able to use, but we're going to wing it. It should sound cool if we can. If it miraculously all fits, that would be awesome. But I'm expect, I'm hoping at least to get it to the muffler and then chop it from there and then maybe they can um, fix the back end of, end of the exhaust. I'm even thinking maybe twins out the back, twin two and a half out the back. That could be, could be pretty cool. But yeah, so people let us know. But that's what I'm going with for this one. But yeah, hopefully that works out. So yeah, hopefully with all them parts, we have a smooth sailing when it comes to the actual conversion. So as far as tuning goes, we're going to get the old mate Linton down and he's going to get the PCM tech plugged in. He's going to try and nip up a tune to get it driving and then we're going to go do some data logging and stuff like that just to, just to be sure. But yeah, we've got a couple of things coming before we do this. Obviously there's a bit of organisation to being able to do this in a weekend, which is the plan. But yeah, a couple more little mods to do this and then we'll get stuck into it. The old territory should definitely be ripping soon. Got to live up to the number plate. But yeah, it should be another interesting one. Pretty, pretty keen for it. Keen for the cool sounds to be coming out of the thing looking like this. But yeah, keen as. All right, guys, if you have any anything to ask, hit me up. I can help you out if you want. And thanks for watching, guys. Till the next one. See you later.